Hello guys, today I'm going to be working a very interesting question. It's actually an Olympiad question. You could see it now on the screen. It looks difficult, but it's simple. So let's work it out. Now I have the question on the screen. Now check it out. You see, the problem with this question is they are all raised to power x and unknown. And a kind of ambiguous. So we need to simplify it, all right? Now, what do I do? The first thing I need to do is I'm going to multiply through by 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. I'll tell you why I would like to multiply with this. You can actually multiply 2 by 2 plus root of 3 or raised to power x. It is still okay. Right, but I chose um, 2 minus 3 raised to power x. Now, multiplying it, I'm going to have 2 plus root of 3 or raised to power x, then multiply by 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. All right, then plus 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x, uh, multiply by 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. Then it's equals to 4 multiplied by 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. Okay, that is beautiful. We are moving. Now, if you check it out, there is this understanding. Now, if I have a raised to power n times b raised to power n from indices, as far as their powers are the same, then it's going to be a, b, or raised to power n. So that is exactly what I'm going to use to work uh, these questions out. Now, I'm going to have 2 plus root of 3, all right, uh, into 2 minus root of 3, all raised to power x, then plus this other side is going to be 2 minus root of 3, all raised to power x, sorry, no, x for now so i'm taking this off all right good then uh 2 minus root of 3 like this everything now is raised to power x then is equals to 4 into 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x so we are moving now one I, once i work the bracket uh if i have 2 plus root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus root of 3, I'm going to have 4 plus 2, not plus, 4 minus, okay, 4 minus uh, 2 root of 3, then plus 2 root of 3, then I have minus 3. Now you can see that these two go, so this 4 minus 3, everything is 1. Now having done that, this is going to be replaced by 1 or raised to power x, then plus now if you check this is the same as this so it's going to be square of it right so it's going to be 2 minus root of 3 all squared now everything raised to power x is equals to 4 uh into 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x so we are moving now do you know that i can actually okay anything raised to power one raised to power anything is the same thing as one so here i'm going to maintain one then plus i'm going to have this as two minus root of three or raised to power x then all raised to power two i'll tell you why i decide to have this switch okay then it's equals to four into two minus root of three or raised to power x now you could see that the radical that is having raised to power x is our problem so therefore the next step to do to simplify it further is to let, that is using substitution now, let y be equals to 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. Now, by me doing this substitution, I'm going to have it as 1 plus y all raised to power 2 is equals to 4 into y. Now, this is 1 plus y squared is equals to 4y. Now, it has actually 
you know, turn into quadratic equation. So what I need to do is to rearrange further so that I'm going to have y squared minus 4y then plus 1 is equals to 0. Now, checking this expression, this quadratic equation, it can actually not be factorizable. So what I will do is I'm going to use um, the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula in this case will be y is equals to uh, minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now the responsibility now is for us to get our a, b and c. Now, this is the question, y squared minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. And the general format of uh, a quadratic equation is ax squared, now minus 4, sorry, not 4, minus b or plus bx plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, we compare coefficients by comparing coefficients um, of the unknowns, you could see that um we have a is equals to one then b is equals to minus four and c is equals to one all right don't mind the fact that i have y and x we are just talking about the coefficients of the unknowns okay now substituting it in this formula i'm going to have y is equals to minus four minus into minus four actually all right then plus minus root of we have minus 4 all squared then minus 4 into the value for a and the value for c which is 1 each now all over 2 into 1 right now this will be 4 plus minus then i can have my 16 minus 4 all over 2 now this will be 4 plus minus root of 12 all over 2. Now I can actually uh, simplify that sort, the radical, so that I have 4 plus minus uh, 2 root of 3. I've simplified that root 12 now. Then all over 2. I can factorize now so that I'm going to have 2 into 2 plus minus root of 3 all over 2. Now, if you check it out, these two can cancel these two so that my y will just be 2 plus minus root of 3. Now, because it is quadratic equation, we are going to have two roots or two solutions so that I'm going to have y is equals to 2 plus root of 3 or y is equals to 2 minus root of 3. But recall, we actually introduce y into the whole mix, all right? So um, our aim is to get x. But the relationship that can give us x is that, let me put it this way, recall, y is equals to 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. Okay? Now, I want to get my x because I know my y. So let's start. The first one, when y is equals to 2 minus root of 3 what will happen it therefore means i will have 2 minus root of 3 um okay good is equals to 2 minus root of 3 or the super x okay now do you know that this is 2 minus root of 3 or the super 1 yes is equals to 2 minus root of 3 or is to power x. Now, in indices, from what we've learned in indices in my previous videos, you can now easily conclude that our x is equals to 1. All right? Since the bases are the same, then the powers must be the same. So we have x equals to 1. So we've gotten one of the values of x. Now, to get the other one, we said, or oh, we are going to say, when y is going to be or it is equals to uh, 2 plus root 3 2 plus root 3 what will happen now this is exactly what is going to happen we are going to have 2 plus 
root of 3 will be equals to 2 minus root of 3 all raised to power x. Now, I have a problem here. You see, here is 2 plus root of 3 and here is 2 and the um, right hand side is 2 minus root of 3. Now, let me show you a trick. Okay, uh, it's a very good fact. Do you know that 2 plus root of 3 is the is the same as the multiplicative inverse of 2 minus root of 3? Now, let me show you why I said so. I have to prove it so that everything is going to be fine. Now, what is the multiplicative inverse of 1 minus root of 3? Now, this is what is going to be. 1 over 2 minus root of 3. This is the multiplicative inverse. Now, you could see that this is actually a radical problem or sort problem. So, what we'll do is I'll rationalize. Then we'll see what will happen. Rationalizing, this is going to be multiplied by root by 2 by 2 plus the conjugate okay root of 3 all over 2 plus root of 3 so i multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator okay which will now give us 2 plus root of 3 all over 2 minus root of 3 into 2 plus root of 3 now, seeing it, you know that it's talking about difference of two squares, okay? They are conjugate. So, if you do it, you are going to have 2 plus root of 3 all over 4 minus 3. And it is the same as 2 plus root of 3. So, it has been proven that 2 plus root of 3 is the same as the multiplicative inverse of 2 minus root of 3. So, what I'm going to do here is I will come, instead of having this instead of having this i am going to replace it by the multiplicative inverse so that we have the same basis so this is going to be one all over uh two minus root of three then this is equals to two minus root of three or raised to power x now from indices you agree with me that um for the negative power law, if I have a raised to power minus 1, it's the same thing as 1 over a. Okay, vice versa. So it could go both ways. So this is going to be 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power minus 1 is equals to 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x. Now, basically what I've done is I've changed them to be the same base using the knowledge of indices and the trick I just showed you now. Now, from the conclusion we did in the first part, you could agree with me now that since the bases now are the same, then the powers must be the same. Hence, x is equal to minus 1. So, I have two answers, basically. Okay, in summary, I have two answers. We have x is equal to 1. Then I have x is equal to minus 1. And you can actually go back and check. Okay, you can go back and check your answer. Remember, the question is <clears throat> 2 plus root of 3 or raised to power um, x. Then you have plus 2 minus root of 3 or raised to power x is equals to 4. Now, as far as x is equals to 1, you are going to have 2 plus root of 3 plus 2 minus root of 3. Now, you could see that this will cancel this. 2 plus 2 is 4. So, it shows that we are actually correct. So, also, if you use minus 1, you are still going to get the same thing. So, it's just to show that we are actually correct from what we've done. So, just keep watching. Uh, I have very, very good videos coming up soon. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? I want to believe you enjoyed the video. I want to see it in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here with me.